Hi and welcome. This video discusses another 1970s intercept technique. It is not as simple as the sink Z turn discussed previously, but it is still quite intuitive and easy to remember. The fulcrum of the maneuver lies in the name, 40 degrees cold of Kata at 25 nautical miles. Yes, it's a long name. Flow. Speed advantage is, as always, a requirement. Although based on the 5 to 4 ratio of previous techniques, the 40 cold of Kata is not as stringent and works down to co-speed. The idea is to follow a curve starting at, you guessed it, 40 degrees cold of Kata at 25 nautical miles and terminating the intercept with a stern conversion. For every mile closer than 25, a degree should be added to the curve, and thus the following checkpoints can be determined. The fighter can intersect the intercept curve at any of these points, depending on when the target is spotted on the radar scope. For example, if the target is illuminated at 24 nautical miles, the closest checkpoint is 20 nautical miles. This latter value is dubbed will-be range, as it indicates the range at which the curve is intercepted. As the fighter follows the curve, at some point, they need to turn to roll out on the target 6 o'clock. There are several ways to assess how the conversion is performed. A suggested technique is to evaluate HCA and turn as soon as its value equals twice the ATA. To recap, we need to 1. Determine Kata and HCA 2. Determine both the current and the will-be range 3. Determine the curve to intercept at the will-be range 4. Maneuver to match the assessed curve 5. Move to pure pursuit when HCA equals 2 times ATA in this example, the first three points are determined during the point and assess phase, when the target is placed on the fighter's nose. In this case, CA, TA and BH are assessed as described in the previous video. The range is circa 24 nautical miles, ergo the will-be range is 20 nautical miles. Thus, the desired amount of degrees cold of Kata is 40 plus 5 degrees. Since Kata is 50 right, the fighter turns to place the target 45 degrees colder than that, ergo at ATA 5 right. Going forward, the goal is to maintain the target at such an azimuth until 2 times ATA equals the HCA. Unfortunately, the geometry of this randomized scenario does not show this eventuality, as the fighter would likely get a tally before the condition is met. This animation is not very precise, but it hopefully clears the dynamics of this brilliant intercept technique. Observations Precise CATA is fundamental for this technique. DCS controllers are very poor and unhelpful, so the crew is left to find what they need. A helpful trick recently discussed on Fly and Wire is to assess CATA, the bandit's heading, and the scope sides altogether by placing the target on the nose. Once the bandit's heading is determined, HCA's value is instantaneous. I noticed it is worth skipping a checkpoint to ensure that CATA is correct. If an adjustment is required, remember to apply it to HCA accordingly. Lastly, if the target is not manoeuvring, I think the easiest way to monitor the curve and assess when to switch to pure pursuit is to calculate the heading at which the fighter should be to satisfy the ATA and HCA relation. This FFH, or Final Fighter Heading, allows the crew to focus on the situation and monitor the turn with a quick glance at the BDHI. Practical example. In this scenario, a fictional British F4E is intercepting a bogey out of the southern coast of England. As demonstrated in the previous video, with practice and experience or a bit of ingenuity, the crew can assess the drift rate, which is then used to determine Kata and the bandit's heading. The drift is minimal, but the angle of bank must be considered. The drift angle theta seems to be around 10 or 15 degrees. Kaita is therefore 30 degrees towards the cold side from the fighter's heading, whereas the bandit heading is 30 degrees from the fighter's reciprocal. In relative terms, Kaita is 30 left. If you are confused, remember that CATA equals antenna train angle. 
the azimuth on the b-scope when the fighter and the bandit are on a collision course. So, imagine turning the right to have FH equals CC, ergo 125, from the current 095. What is the ATA now? It is 30 degrees looking towards the crew's left side, ergo 30 left. Feel free to pause the video and review this part, or ask questions in the comments below or via Discord. Back to the intercept and the topic of when to roll out. Given the amount of correction required for the intercept, 150 degrees to cover from the initial geometry to the desired heading, the range will likely be relatively low by the time I hit the aforementioned value. The situation is made more complex by the considerable speed difference I purposely used in this example. Therefore, if necessary, I will anticipate the turn to pure pursuit. Remember that rules, techniques and tools are great and welcomed, but eventually the crew decides on the course of action most suitable to the situation. Tack view better shows the intercept. Two things worth mentioning. In premise, I purposely set a slow flying target and cranked the throttle close to military to create a vast speed difference. This proves how this technique works even outside the usual five to four speed ratio. In fact, here, the ratio is almost two to one. Mach 0.95 for the Phantom and Mach 0.5 for the Globemaster. It goes without saying that a proper intercept requires throttle management depending on the task, such as VID, tanker, rejoin, etc. Second, the assessment of the bandit's heading was close but not completely precise, with a difference of 5 degrees. Overall, it's not too bad, but this discrepancy indicates once again that, at the end of the day, the crew can adjust their pursuit, and excessive fixation on precision is not feasible nor recommended. I hope you have found this video interesting. The 40 cold of Kata is not a complex maneuver, but I doubt it will be used often since we are playing a video game, and techniques such as the Sync Z turn are vastly more suitable to most players. Thanks for watching, and take care.